Aloha ya nakakiki. How's it, boys and girls? With my good friend here, the modern day rock, Oahu hey. Stone. Aloha, Aloha, Mana Apao. Welcome to Keoho, or in the older time known as Kahulu, to the slide of Kaneaka or Kaneaka. So here you are. Cool. Oh. Well, today we're talking about Holua. Holua. Uh, to share with us, what is Holua? Ah, uh, Holua, well, in traditional sense, Holua means to be two together, but it's actually the sport of riding down mountains, man. Riding That's down That's what it's about, mountains. sliding down the mountain. As wow. fast as we could go, all the way to the Makai. Okay, so Pohaku, share with my friends how this all works because, man, this is kind of mind-boggling a little bit. So this right here, this slide, is called the Kahua Holua. Right, the Kahua Holua is just, basically, it just means, you know, the place where we slide on, right? It's the foundation right. of it. You know, and, and what we're looking at is right. not necessarily what was there now. Okay, so this just didn't Pohaku. appear. Somebody had to actually put this one mile of Pohaku all the way down. This was fully constructed from the materials around this spot where we're wow. standing for the entire mile. Plenty right? people had to do that. Yeah, then. a lot. You know, I mean, you could guess maybe 10,000 or more working Sheesh. nearly every day, hewing, you know, hewing out the uh, stone around there, piling it on top, big, big stuff, going down to smaller and smaller and smaller. So bigger stones and smaller and smaller yep. stones. Now, when you actually slide down the, the, the vehicle that they're using, that's called the Papaholua. Right. Papa Holua. Papa and that Holua. thing is um, that thing is big, small, how do you, how, how would you explain? How well, you... they came in various sizes, but the Papa Holua itself that that we're riding and is most known is actually about 12 feet long, right? 12 feet long, four inches in depth, you know, five to six inches wide. And, you know, it's not like there was a lot to it, <laughs> but the whole point of the matter is that is understanding the technology of our kupuna and what they were up to because you can't build a sled that's wide because everybody asks. Right, you know, why asks, not? Come that big like yeah, that? Yeah, but, but you're riding stone and the stone creates friction and, and wants to pull the sled apart. Oh, so a kupuna okay. knew that it had to be a certain width to make it come together and that's how it gets, it gets its name, holua, right? It's the coming together of all the components because it's made up of four components. The runners, cross pieces, the handrails, and keikino, you know, the mm. body. And, those bo and all those have to function together as, as one unit or else it fall apart. And on okay. something like this today, you know, this is just remnants of what the slide was originally in its heyday. So what do you mean? You mean to tell me they just rode on the rocks? Yeah. Just come, this is all like the remnants. Well, this is, you know, when we're talking about riding on the rocks and riding on a papahulua down these things, it wasn't actually this we're riding on. Because this is okay. what's, what hasn't been cared for for centuries. Yeah? Okay, okay. So, you know, people think, oh, you can just jump on this <laughs> and go zipping down this mountain. No, you can't. This is something that hopefully one day will be restored. Okay. And it's that restoration we're working towards. Because right now, this is unrideable. In its restoration, it'll be something that we, I would love to ride. Okay, so if it, it. if it is restored, if it was restored, if it was looking rideable, what would it look like? And oh. what would you lay? Would you just write on the stone or would no, you lay stuff down? No, no, no. Well, the stone would get smaller because what we're seeing is, you know, actually the larger stones here sitting sitting on the surface. Okay, okay. You know, we actually took finer ash and packed it in. And we got down to getting that nice and smooth and, you know, this surface that ran clean. Okay. We would put peely grass on top of nice. it. Nice. Yeah. It, makes, it makes it go faster. Oh. Then. Peely grass just makes it really nice to slide on because in the heat of the day, right. that's why everybody wonders, oh, how come all Mo'olelo is, is about riding in the, you know, in the midday, mm -hmm, right? But mm -hmm. the heat, it, it brings out that natural oil in the, in the Peely ah, and, then, and then the oil of the Kukui knot or, you know, whatever is oh. on the Holua at the time or the Papa Holua and that causes that, that sled to, okay. to actually go faster. You know, you can imagine the friction that's, that's taking place between right. the Papa and the Aina, right? right? And if that sled's not running properly, it's gonna pull apart, because it's only lashed together. There's no nails, there's no glues, there's no nothing. But no matter what, you know, if the sled is gonna run properly, it's gotta be constructed in the old way. Okay, so any rituals associated with Holua sliding? Well, I mean, besides what we're talking about, you know, there's this other layer that looking at Pele and her sister, Namakoka, okay. and the constant conflict going on between you know, the two environments right. that we know of as, as, as our Aina and our Kai, right? When we look at a Holoa slide, mm -hmm. the concept is actually recreating 
that, that motion of the lava flow going down oh, into okay. the sea. Okay. Right? And the clashing between the two sisters, right? It's that lava reaching the ocean, the big explosions ah, and see. everything, and the waves start breaking. And immediately the ocean starts breaking it down, right? It starts forming sand beaches and stuff right, like right. that. So, you know, that's more of a, a scientific way of looking at it. Now, what about like practical uses of the, of the Kahua Holua? Were there like, would it be used for like traveling or for other just well, everyday type of use? You know, in this instances, or in this instant, when we look at something this large, and we look at the landscape around us today, we don't really see what was here originally. What was here is great forest. The core trees grew down to oh, these areas. Okay, okay. The large, you know, trees that we now we find up up in the uh, you know the Valkele above us. Uh -huh, uh -huh. You know, it used to be here. So. Can you imagine trying to carry a, a giant coral log across all the uh -uh? <laughs> No, I mean, we're Akamai. We went and created the pop-up wow. to carry the log right to the car. I see, yeah? I see. And that's the simplicity of it all. You know, we're, you know. Akamai was, like that. Yeah. There's been a lot of information here today. And you know, this sounds like something that I would love to do. I'm sure if my friends at home would love to do it too. Thanks a lot for all the information, brother. And we'll see you next okay, time. Yeah, my pleasure. Yeah. Man. All right. And we, you folks take care, yeah, and we'll and see you mama. folks in our next section. We're here on the island of Hawaii, Pohaku Stone, talking about Holua. Aloha. Aloha.